welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a Broadway theme party centerpiece and setup here we go started <laughs> all right guys so the first thing I'm going to do is get my painting out the way so it can dry while I do the rest of the project I'm going to be painting this canvas sign from Dollar Tree in a gloss black I'm also going to be painting four push lights but you only want to paint the outer area of the light so what you want to do is pull apart the light or you can cover up the actual light with painters tape So I wanted to show you guys the inspiration behind my centerpiece and right here you see Times Square and all of the plays on Broadway they are displayed on the building on the Jumbotrons and I love that look if you've been to New York. Look at that. Here's another picture and this is the feel that I want to give you guys at the end of this video. I hope. <laughs> so um, I feel like the centerpiece will be great for like birthday parties or for a retirement party, for a anniversary party, because you know, I am going to be placing a picture of myself on the top, which uh, will be like starring Tyra Perez or starring, you know, the couple or starring the birthday girl. So I'm going to be using two black boxes from Michaels. This one is a 7.3 by 7.3, and this one is a 10 by 12 inch box. And these are pretty inexpensive. This one was $2.99 and this one was $3.49. Very, very cheap. And um, this is building number one. <laughs> um, I didn't have much of a choice to make uh, my vision come alive. But um, after uh, being at Michael's for about an hour, <laughs> um, I decided that this was perfect. Okay. This is Times Square, if you can envision that. And these are going to be the Jumbotrons, and this is the Mega Jumbotron. And um, I'm going to be placing a picture of myself. I am not a narcissist. <laughs> I'm just me, you know. Uh, just picture your face being here instead of mine. All right? Um, so, yeah. So, the birthday girl or the anniversary couple or whoever, this picture is going to be here and also on the back. Okay? And then I'm going to have all the playlists are going to go all around the uh, lower box. For your centerpiece to look top notch and for your pictures to look great, you are going to want to print it out on photo paper. And um, this one is from Dollar Tree and you get eight sheets in a packet. And that is going to go on your Megatron or uh, your, yeah, this one's Megatron, this is our Jumbotron. <laughs> and you are going to place a picture here and one on the back. So you're gonna to wanna to, you know, place a picture of yourself where you think you look good. Um, I recently took this picture, and you've probably seen this on my Instagram and on my Facebook. And if you're not following me, follow me at the Tyra Perez Project um, on Instagram and Facebook. Anyway, so, so that's four pictures. For your Jumbotron, you are gonna to want to print out the pictures of your playbills on stock paper because it just looks better and feels better. And you want your centerpiece, like I said, to look top notch. Um, and um, you are going to go on Google and you are going to Google uh, playbills on Broadway. And then you are going to pick whichever play you like the most. I pick the most popular ones, or well, the ones that I think are the most popular, and I print them out. I print out five, but I only need four because I'm not sure which I'm going to use yet. I'm also going to be using two Broadway signs that I printed out on cardstock as well. And I got these off of Google by searching Broadway signs, and I got this beautiful sign. Very nice, right? 
And um, these are gonna go over my canvas signs that I painted in black. And I will show you that in a little bit. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting all of these signs and pictures. I'm still not sure which I'm going to pick yet, but um, here they are. All right, so now I'm ready to put everything together, but first I'm going to dispose of the lid from the square box. I'm not gonna need it. And then I'm going to turn it over, and then I'm going to uh, turn it sideways, okay? Not forward, but sideways. And then I'm going to place my uh, bigger box on top. And this is going to be facing forward. And I'm going to use some hot glue to bond them together. So I decided to go with Phantom of the Opera, Lion King, Hamilton, and Wicked. I really do like Kinky Boots um, color, just color in general, but it just really doesn't go with the rest of the playbill. So I'm going to stick to this one. Next, I'm going to be making a frame out of this silver foil paper from Dollar Tree. I basically want this frame to go over my picture. And basically what I have to do is just cut out the middle part of it. But I have to cut it smaller than the picture. I know you can barely see this, but um, I basically just cut half an inch from the sides and half an inch from the top and bottom. And I'm going to use my exacto knife or my craft knife to do so. So it should look something like this. And eventually this is going to go right over my picture or your picture. And it will look something like this. Totally looking like a glamour shot from the 90s. <laughs> horrible <laughs> now I am going to be gluing my glamour shot <laughs> right in the middle of my Megatron here and I'm going to be using hot glue really lightly on these four sides um, because I don't want it to show through and for my frame since it's paper and very thin I'm going to be using Mod Podge Add a little dimension to my centerpiece I decided to use this canvas sign from Dollar Tree all right so now I'm going to place my Broadway sign right on top of it and I'm going to glue it with hot glue Now I'm going to install my wire LED lights behind my Broadway sign and around it and what I'm going to do is turn this over, make sure everything's clean so you won't get that dirty. And I'm going to place it right in here. And wait, I'm gonna wrap this around. Uh, you don't need this little part showing or you don't want that showing either. So you're gonna wrap that around there. Just make sure that all the lights are out and that wire is in. I'm also going to add a little bit of glue right here on the wood so the um, pocket here will not move. And I also turn the pocket over to this side so I'm able to turn it on and off easily. Now I'm going to bring it under and then I'm going to Push the wire here so it can curve. 
and also here. I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here. Not too much because you don't want it to look sloppy. So for the last little wire that was hanging right there, I pretty much just wrapped it around the wire right here on this side, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue here so it can stay put. And I want it all the way back, but not quite touching the um, picture in the back, okay? Next, I'm going to be using a white boa from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to drape it over the box to camouflage the fact that it is a box. So it's going to go all the way from here to the other side. I'm gonna add a little glue. Lastly, um, as I'm looking at my centerpiece, I thought of this star stickers that I had from some time ago. I know I got this from Walmart. I'm sure they were like $1.99 or $2.99 maximum. And I was just like, you know what? How about some stars? And I know I have some. So I was like, okay, God, if I find it, <laughs> that means that it's meant to be. If not, uh, it was probably too cheesy for it. So let's try it on. So um, this may or may not make the cut, okay? Because I like for things to look elegant and not cheesy. I'm anti-cheesy, so let's just try one very lightly because I don't want it. This is uh, these are self-adhesive, so. Um, and you know what? If I decide not to, it might be your thing, and it might not be mine. And I'm already not really liking it. <laughs> Let's try the silver ones without the glitter. Mm, I don't know, guys. You can't even see it. Let's give you a close up. All right. Let's try a couple of others. Stars. Or no stars. It makes a little bit of a difference. This is a little bit more plain Jane, but it is the back. Okay, let's see. No stars. And let's go back to stars again. Stars. I think I like stars. I think I like them. So stars it is. So I almost forgot that I was making spotlights. So I'm using Dollar Tree uh, push lights and I painted them in black uh, as you saw earlier. And I'm also using my magnetic clips also from Dollar Tree. And all you have to do is pull that out. And then you, these are self adhesive and there's usually a paper that you'll pull back, but these are recycled. So all you're gonna do is just stick it right on there. And there's your spotlight. Look at that. Hollywood style. Don't you love that? So cute. Okay, guys, this is it. This is my Broadway theme centerpiece, and it is absolutely fabulous. I am loving this centerpiece so much. <laughs> um, I am loving the modern look with a little hint of the old Broadway feel. And I'm telling you guys, this centerpiece can be used in so many, many, many occasions. I was actually thinking that you can use this for graduation season. You can put the graduate's picture on top. You can put his name in the middle with the lights. And then you can put the school's mascot around these sides or whatever you will like. All baby pictures. I mean, you can do so many things with this centerpiece. Swick 16s, quinceanera, anniversary, retirement party, any birthday party, any occasion. This is your centerpiece. I hope I did you guys justice. You guys wanted a Broadway themed centerpiece and here you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so right now. 
Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my centerpiece and leave me a comment anyway because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. Also, if you know someone that can use this centerpiece, make sure to share with them at the end of this video. All right, guys, until next time, bye.